the necessary skills that a future lawyer should develop. Um, so let me start by saying that if you already have a law degree, then congratulations, because it is a huge achievement. And for those of you who have journeyed this far and you are on your way, um, all my best to you. Is it competitive? Yes. It's competitive not just in the legal industry, but also in the corporate sector, which is an alternative that you may consider because having a law degree doesn't necessarily mean going into practice. Um, in terms of skills, I think there are some catchwords right now. And the first one is technology. And when I say technology, I mean more than Microsoft Office, uh, more than Word, PowerPoint and Excel. And even within Microsoft, um, they have a suite of different products that are available. And it might be useful uh, for you to become familiar with some of those products. Second, social media. So. Uh, a lot of people listening to this interview are probably what we call technology natives. That means you're born into a world where technology is already the norm. And so for you, social media might be a natural thing. So the way you think, the way you present stuff, it might be uh, able to gain more traction on social media than people like me, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have social media skills, particularly on business platforms like LinkedIn, um, it's mm -hmm. actually very, very useful to hone in those skills because it could add value. Second, let's talk about communication skills for a minute. Um, communication skills mean verbal and written communication skills, both in Bahasa Malaysia and in English. Um, it also includes things like negotiation skills. So one of my favorite people um, is someone called Chris Voss. And if you watch TED Talks, you can watch Chris Voss um, talk about never split the difference. I promise you it's engaging and it just might change your life. Um, the third one is business development. So when we talk about business development, we People, right so you connect with someone today tomorrow you become friends you become trusted to each other you work together you grow together and at some point in the future that connection may end up being really really valuable so when you're young start that business development mindset connecting with people meeting people keeping track of people staying in touch um, these are really really important tools so I give you a personal example so I, I, I've taught law for more than 20 years and when I first started teaching law, I didn't think, you know, where would these law graduates be 20 years later? But guess what? A lot of these law graduates are now partners in the bigger law firms. They run their own legal practices. They are head, um, uh, heads or directors in in-house counsel. Um, so they do so many different things. So the value of keeping in touch is actually tremendous. So what you do today could make a difference to you even 20 years from now. So you must do that. And the last bit of advice is be agile and be creative and don't be afraid to be either.